What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man again. Back in it, bitch. And today, we watch my boy Poncho again. Coming with the bangers. The biggest cheap steak I've ever seen. Now, I can already tell by the back and how she got every set, everything set up. That that motherfucker don't like spending a penny. Hopefully this hoe don't make me throw up. I hope not. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. My that being said, let's get into the video. Now to save money, I multitask with washing dishes and cooking meals with my dishwasher. With Bitch, you nasty. You put yo you cook certain foods while cleaning your dishes? Ugh What did the what did the thing open up? What if your food open up and then now your food fucking clean? Literally. Just nasty. Just nasty. Dishwasher reaching a temperature of 170 degrees. The lasagna will be fully cooked in one and a half hours. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite Mexican Renko here. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too. I stand corrected. This nigga's name not Poncho. I feel racist now. His name is Renko. Y'all heard him. My bad. Let's get back to video. Myself. Today we're looking at TLC for the first time in forever. It's been years since we've checked out this channel, but we're checking out the worst cheapskate ever. Apparently she cooks her lasagna in the dishwasher. I don't know how that works. Like, why would you ever want your lasagna wet and soapy? That sounds like a meal that's handed to you as like a form of torture. I can't wrap my mind around that. That makes no sense to me. I guess we're figuring out today. So let's take a look at this. I do believe that laundry detergent does run a scam on people. You're kidding. She's using a syringe to put in the detergent? I didn't know it was going to be this level of cheapskating. I wasn't prepared. Okay, give me your worst. I learned how to conserve my detergent by my method at work, drawing blood. The measurements are very precise. By using the amount that I put inside of the syringe, it weighs out correctly, so I'm not overdoing it. So I'm all for saving money, right? That's a good thing to do. You know, say stack up your bread so you can like make a big purchase like a house or a car. You know, you want to budget properly, but a syringe for laundry detergent. Detergent pods are like 10 bucks from Walmart and you can't get those? I guess not because she's using a fucking syringe for one. God damn. this I collect lint from the dryer why why I I just want to know why bitch you gonna need a new sweater why why is you taking lint out of why is you save it? Never mind. You don't say nothing else. <clears throat> Why? First off, because it's clean. Secondly, I don't have to buy cotton swabs. Sister, ew. Sister, what are you doing? The lint from the dryer <laughs> is not clean, sister. You're putting that on your face? Ew. I just looked it up on Google. That shit has bacteria and viruses, sister. And you're putting that on your face? Ew. Oh, no, ma'am. Must change that habit. So I use it to remove my nail polish, my makeup. I'm using the lint right now to apply my compact powder on my face. It shades it out very good. You know what's crazy? She uses dirty lint as cotton swabs for her face, and she still has clearer skin than me, and I wash my face two times a day. Damn. I know that gotta hurt. You see a dirty bitch looking cleaner than you, but you know you cleaner than her. Damn. <laughs> Just as if a cotton swab would. I am not worried about how sanitized lint is. If 
the clothes have been dried and ran through the washer and they've been washed therefore the lint is clean itself mm, okay whatever pretty sure google just told me otherwise stephanie has countless money saving tactics by using just one light bulb that she moves from room to room that is od is hell i was having this talk with my friend the other day he works in construction real estate he's he builds homes basically and he also helps with like repairs and stuff like that so he knows a lot about a house and one day we were hanging out and i was like yo bro i gotta turn off all the lights before we leave to go somewhere and he was like bro i keep the lights on in my house and that surprised me because i was like dude you keep the lights on in your house my parents always told me to turn off lights before we leave and they were like tripping about that always they'd get on my ass if i left the light on but he was like yeah no most light bulbs cost like two dollars a year if they were to stay on for the entire year it just blew my mind because i thought light bulbs were like eating up money but so you mean to tell me i could have kept my damn lights on i was getting my ass whooped every time for keeping them shits on only two fucking dollars a year to keep on bitch they're super cheap to stay on so i don't know if she knows that but even if she knew it i think she'd still be bringing that light bulb everywhere she goes because she's a cheapskate i just don't know how uh how much you're really saving by doing that maybe like 30 cents a year cheapskates are something else bro they'll do anything to save a little bit more money it's they're so insufferable Stephen has a good job she works at a doctor's office she, damn she does have a lot of money saved up she doesn't want to spend nothing it's just ridiculous, but I do it because I love Stephanie, so. Bro even admitted it himself. He said, yeah, this shit's ridiculous, but I love my GF and I'll do anything for her. Kind of feel bad for her, bro. I'm not going to lie. Not bad for him, but I, I, you know he's annoyed with this whole cheapskate stuff. He's like, bro, I want to be able to just turn on lights. I don't want to have to walk around with some fucking light bulb in my hand. That just seems ridiculous. He even said it himself. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But in our house, we have what we call Navy showers. That can't be good. I'm not allowed to take long showers because Stephanie wants to save water for the water bill. Did you know that you can get paid $800 a week? I did not want to know that. I go in, turn water on, reach my body off. Cut the water off. Lather your body down, make sure you get every area so you don't miss anything because you can't come back to it. Turn it back on, reach the soap off my body. He hasn't experienced a long shower yet? Now I feel bad for him. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, but don't most of us take pretty long showers? There's a sometimes where I'm just in and out of the shower, I'll just shampoo, conditioner, soap, done. But you got those other times where you're just, you're in a, it feels like a spa. That warm water just hitting your back. Oh my God, that shit. Man, shit be having you about to stay in that mug for about two hours. I'm just playing. I ain't never stayed in no shower for two hours. The longest I ever stayed was about 45 minutes. After a while, that water get cold, I get mad. I say, time is to go. But I do understand that feeling. Especially after, especially them days where you get, get done from coming outside. Bro. Word to my mother, the days coming outside after being dirty, playing, not sitting down for a moment's notice. Whoo! Getting that shower. Oh my goodness! If y'all know, comment down on y'all experience. Let's keep going. Therapy. This guy needs to experience that. That one therapeutic session you get from that hot water hitting your back will make you more of money in the long run because of how much better you're feeling throughout your days. Whack ass cheapskate shit, bruh. And get out. I don't really get to watch my full body. Brother, ew. Stop this. Grab a bucket of water from the outside or something. To keep her water bill down, Stephanie found a way to make sure Patrick sticks to a two-minute shower. Right now, Patrick! Okay! Oh, hell nah, bruh. Hell nah. Imagine your girlfriend acting like that. I'm moving out. Well, first I talk to her about it, and if she's not willing to, like, you know, loosen up a little bit, I'm taking my long showers having ass to a new spot. Oh, but did you <laughs> hear how she was talking to him? She's like a mom to him. Two-minute showers! Right now, Patrick! That's like a mom nagging in your ear, bro. Ew, brother. Ew, get out. Leave. Escape. 
<sighs> Stephanie has a baby monitor. I can still hear you. Damn. Damn. I think it's time to pray for bro. <laughs> Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we pray for our brother to get him out of this unfortunate situation. My family feels that my cheapskate ways are out there, but I don't really care. This is my reusable boiling water. Enough said. I don't even want to hear the next few fucking words that are about to come out of her mouth. This bitch just said reusable boiling What Do you, did you see in that last clip? Hold up. But I don't really care. Ugh. Sister, ugh. That shit don't look reusable. If anything, you could have waited till it rained. Sister, ugh. What's that? Get this shit out the house. Ew. This is my reusable boiling water. How does that, how do you, what? Yes, I know it may be a little chunky, but it saves me from spending more money on my I'm done. I'm done. You got three more minutes in this video. I'm done. Ain't no way in here. This bitch just said chunky. Ugh. By cutting on the water and I'm done. I'm done. She 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 literally dip it. She's finna make fucking food with that. I'm done. I'm done. Make sure you like, come subscribe. And this boy OGT man. Um signing out. Signing out.